Hi there. Um, for those of you who have seen my Crate Park video and have wondered about the glider system that I use, uh, the glider system I call a glider shot, the reason why I have been so slow in responding to those questions and maybe posting some videos of me using it is because for uh, several months I was entertaining the thoughts of actually making them and, and, uh, and selling them to the public. But after looking at what's already out there in the, the market, they, there's already several companies um, that have very good quality products that are, are, are relatively uh, accessible price-wise. Um, Indie Slider is one. They have a 24-inch one that's, that's, that's under $100. Um, the uh, Glide Track uh, it, um, one is really, really good. And that's the, that's the one I was most attracted to before I decided to just get my own <laughs> materials. But um, um, but they're also they're all reasonably priced. I mean, there's nothing that's really beyond reason. Um, and I started to do the do-it-yourself um, glider systems, and nothing that I saw of people doing it of themselves really, for me, achieved the professional results that that, that this other the, the the ones that you see that are commercially available can. And so you know, I decided to, to especially after looking at the ones from from Glide Track, thinking. I know he gets his materials and his, I mean, he doesn't make his own tracks, he doesn't make his own glider systems. He's got to have a supplier somewhere. So let me see if I can find that supplier. And uh, so I, as I was going through the internet, I came across a link to a company called IGUS, I-G-U-S. And they specialize in manufacturing gliding systems for CNC routing. And I came across one of, the, one of the, the, their products is called the Dryline series, Dryline W series. And when I saw that, I thought, that's the one. And so I, I, I went through and, I, and I, I measured out how much track I was when it wanted, wanted to have and what size I needed to have my shuttle. And I went and ordered it. Um, it. It was less than $100. I think it was like $93 or $92 plus shipping. Um, and when it came in, it came, I got a, a, a three foot track. Um, it's anodized aluminum. It's very, very, very sturdy. Um, it's not completely impervious to, to bowing and flexing, but you have to put a lot of weight on this before it'll do that. Um, um, when it's mounted to a surface, the, the track and the, the shuttle itself are rated for 550 pounds of motion um, weight. And if you have it stationary, it can handle up to a ton. So uh, it's very robust, very sturdy. Um, this is slightly wider and slightly, I think, a little more stronger than the the the, the tracks that I've seen with the, the glide track and uh, some of the other ones. Um, but again, it just came like this. There were there were you know I, I had to then I had to customize it. What I did is I took and I drilled a hole in the center and I tapped it um, so that I could thread it to my tripod and I have. A tripod here. I'm able to get it in there, and so it's there. there. There's my tripod, and so it's on there. So I did the same thing with my shuttle. I drilled a hole in the center, and I tapped it, and I put a bolt in the center, so I could mount my tripod head, which is a Velbin tripod head. Uh, that uses a quarter inch thing, and I put that in there. And so then I could have that mounted there. So this allows this to be used on, uh, if I can get it on there. So I got my tripod head on using a tripod. See there? So that's how this was set up. I'll show you a little bit more on that in a second. So as you can see, this is my lighter system and it works pretty well. Um, if you're using lightweight cameras, it, it's wonderful. You can go all the way to the end. Uh, one thing I do recommend getting in um, is I use these things. These are these little clamps. You can either put them on the ends or when, if you want to, you're know, ready to just pick it up and you go on your way, and it works really well. Actually, that, those, those hold up a lot of weight uh, for sliding. Um, but I tend to put them over here at the ends, 
you know, so that I can't go all the way off. Um, but this is good for lightweight, wet lightweight, because if you start getting heavy, like, for instance, this type of a, of a setup, um, it gets much more heavy. And as you're getting to the extremities here on the end, you can see that the, the, the tripod, which is only meant for really lightweight um, um, cameras, uh, is not really up to the task. It, it tends to, the, the track is still not, this track is not blowing, but the tripod is a little bit. And so that's why I drilled two holes on the sides, one on each side, so I could use it with two tripods. And I'll show you that right now. Well, now what I've done is I've taken my track and I have mounted it to two tripods, one on each end, um, to distribute the, the weight equally, so that when I'm on the ends, of course, they're holding the weight, and when it's in the center, both of them are holding the weight just equally. So when I go to the end, it's holding the weight. So I don't have to worry about um, uh, the, the, the legs bowing and flexing like, like they do when you have just one tripod um, in the center. The uh, tripods themselves I got for on eBay for really cheap. The first one I got was $88, and the second one was for $20. Um, they're both Velbin DB, DV40s. And um, they're, they're not meant for heavy-duty cameras, but put together, they, they, they handle the weight just fine. And, and if you're using it just by itself as a standalone a tripod, it's perfectly fine with this, 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 this weight of system. Um, the, um, the, the really valuable thing about having these, and, and whether you get these, whether you get a system like this from, from iGIS.com or you order from the commercially available ones, um, I highly recommend getting one. They are so much more practical and more portable than a traditional dolly system. You can get uh, you can get so many more shots in the time that you take. When I shot the Crate Park video, it was just me, my camera, and my tripod and my glider system. That's it. Um, I I would literally take about 30 seconds to set up a shot. I would take several takes of that shot. I would pick it up and go to the next location and do the same thing. And go over and over and over and all in all it took me about 30 to 40 minutes to take all, all that footage and it was just me if i were to have been using a traditional dolly system for that video it would have taken me easily three or four hours to do that i would have had to have two or three people lugging around equipment and, and track and 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 dollies and stuff in order to do this um but it doesn't it doesn't have to be that way it could just be you of course if you have a really long tracking shot where you're you know, needing a lot of track, then, then of course you're going to use the traditional system. Um, but 95% of what I shoot, um, I can shoot with with these these three feet of track. It's um, amazing how much how much a really a little bit goes a long way with these. Just a little slight movement adds so much more to it than just a stationary shot, or just a panning shot, or just a tilting shot. Um, the cool thing about these these uh, clamps is they can hold a lot of weight. I'm gonna demonstrate that now. Hopefully this isn't gonna, but if you like this, that's not going anywhere. And you can be you can be lugging that around. Of course you're not gonna have that on the side, but um, much. But what I would do is probably pick it up and have it over my shoulder and then walk around. But uh, it, stay, it keeps them keeps it stay in place. And, uh, but this is a really rock solid system. I highly recommend getting one for yourself.